How's it going everyone and welcome back to another video. In this video I'm going to be sharing with you a very simple maintenance item that you should be looking out for if you have a Toyota engine. The engine in particular is a 1KD and by having this as part of a service interval replacement guide you could save yourself the likes of a turbo failure or restore some poor performance that your vehicle may be having. So without further ado Let's get into it. So what I have here in front of me is a failed turbo out of another make and model of vehicle. Like a lot of turbo failures, this was not the primary cause. It did have another issue which then led to this turbo failing. That's the same as in the Toyota 1KD engine. It had another issue which led to the turbo failing. That is a very easy serviceable item and that's why I'm making this video to make people aware if they're not. If you have a 1KD engine, you have a map filter that's called a manifold absolute pressure sensor. It's located on the map sensor vacuum line and it's to keep that line clean and clear of any oil or debris that may be coming through it. If you have an EGR system, it's going to create exhaust gases that's putting back through your intake and this filter is to keep that nice and clear so that your map sensor can read correctly and give the information back to the ECU as it records it. The most common failures of this item which can cause which can cause a performance issue or in turn, if not looked at for a long period of time, can cause a turbo failure, which was the case in this particular vehicle, is a blocked or dirty filter. So ones that haven't been replaced for a long time, that line gets blocked up, can affect performance, is not running as well as it should be, and the filter needs to be replaced. In this case, it was a cracked filter. It was advised to the customer a very long time ago. They ignored it in the uh, in the advice and the recommendations and continued to drive. That led to a whining noise, which I'm gonna show here. A Toyota D4D that sounds like the police are behind you. Listen to this sir siren type noise as we take off. And that whining noise was the start of the turbo failing. So if they had addressed the map filter, the turbo wouldn't have been overworking like it was, which is due to that cracked map filter. And afterwards, in this case, it led to a complete failure of the turbine. The turbine got damaged. It threw up a fault code of P0046, which is turbo performance. It was in limp mode and it needed a new turbo. But this could have been easily avoided. It could have had a much, much cheaper outcome. That turbo could have lasted a very long time. Who knows how long it could have lasted if they had just addressed that map filters first and foremost. So if you own one of these vehicles, I would highly recommend to replace that sensor. Have it as part of an interval guide. If you're a mechanic or if you're working on these vehicles, I would just be aware that they are an item that you want to be looking at, inspecting, checking if there's a crack, checking if there's any service history on it. If you advise the customer to have it replaced and they ignore you, you've done your part, you've given them all the information and as a result, if any failures come, it is not on you. You've done all you can to advise in the best possible way. And that is it for this video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. Hope you found it useful and informative. If you did, please like, share, comment and subscribe. And I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.
Dance. 